What's going on, everybody? So first and foremost, thank you for buying one of my systems. I really do appreciate it. I also want to remind you guys to please leave me a review if you enjoyed the product. You can do so on my website at rk-one.com. There's actually a review section up here, and this is tied into Facebook. You can drop me a comment here, or if you bought it through eBay, please leave me a, a review there, or you can also drop me a review on YouTube uh, via the comment section. But if you guys can leave it here on my website, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's get right into it. The first time you boot up the machine, you're gonna land on the screen. This shows you what all the controls are. Look at the videos below this one. Uh, there's specific videos for each type of controller that are going to explain all of this more in detail. So definitely check those out. And guys, please remember, and this is also mentioned in the video below, but please remember to use original Microsoft branded controllers, okay? There's too many third-party controllers out there. I couldn't possibly configure them all. So using original controllers keeps things nice and easy. So make sure they're original branded and uh, take a look at my frequently asked questions. The links in the description of that video uh, will point you to all the right controllers to get and also my uh, Xbox controller navigating instructions video. Okay, so before we get into the toolkit, let's go ahead and take a look at how to exit from Hyperspin into Windows if you needed to do any administrative tasks. And this is the old way of doing it. Let me show you this first. So you would hit Control Shift Escape on the keyboard then you would select hyperspin you would do end task that would kill hyperspin you're not going to have this here you're just going to have a black background like this next up you do new task you type in explorer if it already says explorer just hit okay so i'm going to type it in and then you're going to hit okay and that's going to load up the windows desktop okay so that's the old way of getting out now let's go ahead and launch hyperspin one more time Okay, so you're gonna click up one time and that's gonna land you on the toolkit. Now, normally there's gonna be sound, so you're gonna have a video that explains what the toolkit is. And when you go into the toolkit, each selection here has audio that you're gonna hear that tells you exactly what the selection does. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but let's quickly have a look. There's a lot of useful information in here, uh, useful utilities that will get you through some uh, commonly known issues with the system. Okay, so first and foremost, you have exit to Windows. This is the new way of doing it. You simply select that and it'll shut down Hyperspin and open up Windows, okay? So you don't have to do it the old way. But if this doesn't work, then you have the old way to fall back on. Okay, so next up is fix MAME sound. I'll, again, listen to the sound. This is gonna be to fix the sound issues for your arcade games. Next up is fix game sound. This is going to be for other consoles like Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and anything that is not covered by these two, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel and uh, search for no sound. I'm going to show you that in a second. So remote session. This is if I have to log in to fix something or help you out with something. Simply click enter on that or select it with your controller. It's going to open up Team Viewer. The audio will tell you what to do, but there it is. You're going to send me the user ID and password. Make sure it's, it says ready to connect. Just listen to the video. It'll tell you what to do. Okay. Set resolution. This one is very important, guys. When you get the system, you have to do this step. I cannot stress this enough. If you don't do this step, you're going to have issues and you're going to come to me and you're going to tell me that the system is slow or certain things are not lining up. And this is why you did not watch this video. You did not do this. So... When you plug in the system, come here to the toolkit, run set resolution. That's gonna set your resolution to 1280 by 720, which is what everything is optimized to run at, so that you will have no lags and everything will align up properly with the graphics on the screen. Okay, now, if you connect it to your TV and you do that, or even before doing that, your uh, display is getting cut off like the select exit and genre at the bottom there are cut off or, uh, you're going to want to look at your TV settings for that so stretch to fit or you know 69 whatever it is on your TV just look through the video settings and play with it until that gets fixed okay so let's go ahead and show you my YouTube channel because you can actually go there and you can find other useful information. Just watch my videos. But if you go to youtube.com, 
and then it's just going to be forget this user part right here you can just do forward slash arcade machines and then that's going to take you to my main page here if you hit this hourglass icon here not up here because that's going to search all of youtube if you do it here it's going to search my channel and then you can find things just within my channel so for example if running the toolkit did not fix your main uh not your main but your sound issue so if your main front end the hyperspin the menu selection has sound but the game itself does not run the um you know the sound fix from the toolkit but if neither of those two options there fix your particular issue come here type in no sound hit enter and there you go how to fix uh no sound during gameplay okay it's as easy as that watch the video and i'll take care of your problem all right so this is something you can do with other issues too i'm always adding videos on how to fix things on my youtube channel so if the the uh, toolkit doesn't get you there look here for any fixes okay so if uh obviously if that or the toolkit don't help just reach out to me you know, I try my best to help you guys out with any issues that you have. And speaking of that, uh, if you run into any games that don't work, I remember that there will be games that don't work because there's a lot of stuff on here. So you can run into things that don't work, but if it can be fixed, I, I'll gladly fix it. And, you know, there's things that I don't know about that are broken here and there. You know, there's a lot of stuff on here. So... If you find the game that doesn't work, just let me know. Just shoot me an email. Now, don't expect me to fix it right away the next day. Um, hey, maybe never because not everything is possible to fix. Some things are just broken and that's the way the emulation is. But if it's possible to fix it, most likely I will fix it. So just send me an email letting me know. I'll put it on a to-do list and I'll get to it sometime. And when I do, I'll let you know. And I love hearing these kind of things because, you know, it helps you guys out. It helps me out. And that way everybody's happy all right so i think that's going to be about it for this one again just remember to run that set resolution at the beginning there and that's going to get you to a good start and also use original xbox 360 or xbox one controllers okay guys that's going to be about it uh, i hope you guys enjoy the system and i'll see you guys around